happened. Jeff? Well, the miracle on the Hudson happened five years ago today, one of the most remarkable emergency landings ever by a commercial airliner. It began when U.S. Airways Flight 1549 out of LaGuardia Airport ran into a flock of geese, disabling both of its engines. Captain Chesley Sully Sullenberger executed a perfect splashdown in the Hudson River, saving all 155 passengers and crew. Here are some of the sights and sounds from that day five years ago. How long? That will rescue boats came. Quick. Amazing that you could see all these people that just moments before were flying in an airplane to see them walking, you know, off the rafts, off the ferries. Uh, there really were no words. There's only mild hypothermia, which is just amazing. Weather today. I believe now we've had a miracle in the Hudson. Well, today the passengers and crew from Flight 1549 reunited to mark the anniversary of that miracle. News Force Pat Battle is live on the west side with more for us. Pat. Yeah, Chuck, five years ago tonight, I remember scrambling to try to get those passengers after they were ferried back to the New Jersey side of the river and getting off buses there. We wanted to talk to them, see what that experience was like. Cops kept us away that night, but today they were more than happy to talk to the media and Captain Sullenberger as well. I asked him a question he says he's been asked a few times before. I asked him what, if anything, he might have done differently that night. And I gave my usual technical pilot sort of an answer uh, that uh, I was glad we had such a good outcome on such a frigid January day. When Jeff Scott, my first officer, was asked by the same journalist the same question, he said simply, well, I would have done it in July. I spoke with Captain Sully Sullenberger as he made his way out to the New York Waterways Ferry that would carry him back to the spot where five years ago today he splash landed a U.S. Airways passenger plane in the icy waters of the Hudson River. Once aboard the George Washington, the hero captain raised a glass of champagne in celebration. Alongside him, some of the other heroes of that day, including the ferry captains and crew, who help pull those passengers to safety. The ferry company and the ferry captains and crew train all the time, every month, for emergencies. And uh, it paid off, and I'm glad to be part of it. But who can ever anticipate an emergency like this one? The crew said they didn't have time to think, they just reacted. Yeah, we were fortunate that we could see when the plane came down, so it was an advantage for us to be very quick at the scene and then help with the people who we saw from the plane jumping in the water. Without these people, my children would not have had a father. My mom wouldn't have had a son. Barry Leonard was one of the 150 passengers on board Flight 1549 when it left LaGuardia Airport on that frigid day, January 15th, five years ago. Three minutes into the flight, a flock of Canada geese would strike both engines, rendering them useless just north of the George Washington Bridge. The captain had no time to get to an airfield. He turned the plane around and headed for the water. Today, Captain Sullenberger counts himself among the many heroes that day. Had even one person not survived, I personally couldn't have celebrated any of this. It is the rare occasion, Chuck, when we can mark the anniversary of a plane crash with a celebration, but that is exactly what they're doing tonight. All the passengers, crew members say this has brought them all closer. They keep in touch with each other. With each other. They are like a family, they tell us. And again, they're continuing their celebration tonight. And Captain Sullenberger told me also that he feels that even though this thrust him into a much unwanted public spotlight, he's just a pilot, not a spokesperson. He says it has given him a platform to talk about the all-important issue of air travel when it comes to public safety. Reporting live from the west side along the Hudson River, I'm Pat Battle, News 4 New York. He's still as cool as a cucumber. All right, Pat, thanks so much. Well,